Hi, I'm Byron Cryer. I'm a professor of medicine from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center and the Dallas VA Medical Center, and I'm a gastroenterologist. So we're here now at DDW reporting on a recent um, symposium which we had looking at the issue of colorectal cancer screening specific to African Americans. When you look at several data sets, the uh, epidemiologic population-based data suggests that in African Americans the risk begins to increase somewhere slightly after the age of 40 and certainly by age 45 um, and definitely by 50, there's been a clear separation in the curves of incidence of colon cancer between African Americans and white populations, as well as mortality between African Americans and white populations. So all of these data suggest what was, we thought, an obvious question. Well, if the disease begins earlier in African Americans, why don't we start screening them at an earlier age? So if the risk begins at 40, why don't we start doing our colonoscopic screening modalities or whatever other effective screening modalities which we have, such as FIT testing or um, stool DNA testing. Um, we do whatever modality may be, which may, might be chosen, why don't we try do something at an age earlier than 50? Well, we had a pro and con. Um, uh, discussion supporting the position was Dr. Layamo, an assistant professor from Howard University um, in Washington, D.C., who's done a great, num a great deal of research on the area, as well as um, Dr. Samir Gupta, who's an associate professor from the University of California, San Diego, who supported the Khan position. Dr. Um, uh, Gupta's uh, position was that we shouldn't be screening at an earlier age, and he proposes that why not we do a more effective job of screening, implementing screening recommendations to everyone, including African Americans, starting at age 50. Um, he has done the research and has done modeling, which indicates that if we were to do a more effective job of screening the at-risk African American population that's 50 years of age or greater, that we would actually um, reach a more effectively reach a better goal of screening these individuals and eliminating colon cancer than we would by implementing um, screening at an earlier age such as such at four, as 40 a very compelling argument on the other hand dr. Lamu argues well we can effectively screen the people at 50 but what why not also reach out to the to the individuals at 40 very uh, effectively argued as well Here's where I see the, see the issue. Ultimately, um, if we were to reach out to uh, screening for colon cancer at an age that's less than 50, let's say 40 or 45 years of age, um, someone would have to pay for it. In the United States, healthcare is not free for all. Um, there is a cost to, to screening. And so a third party payer typically would have to um, agree to pay for um, colon cancer screening for African Americans who are between 40 and 50. So therein lies the challenge, which is the implementation problem. So here are a few, a few examples. Um, so if I'm the third party payer, then what constitutes an African American? Most African Americans who are here in the United States have mixed gene pools. Um, so what degree of African Americanness then constitutes or qualifies for screening? A, um, a, an example of, of that discussion would be what Barack Obama, our President of the United States, half African, half um, Europe European American, would he qualify or not? So many other examples. Um, another uh, example that would be a difficulty in terms of implementation would be, we clearly know that people's cancer risk is influenced by the country to which they've migrated. So as one moves from Africa to the United States and, and that individual then is exposed to a Western diet, their cancer risk then changes. So based on that discussion or based upon that observation, how many uh, generations does an African American need to have been here then to qualify for an earlier age of screening? Um, and then the, the, the final argument that makes it difficult for implementation is that third party payers do not universally collect ethnicity data. And so they may not even have it in their health records, the, the ethnicity of the populations which are covered, which then makes this even more problematic. So because of the implementation problems, until we have a single if and when, and I would say underscore if, 
the time comes where we have a single party payer uh, for which covers screening in the United States. Um, I see that um, this discussion of moving the screening age exclusively to African Americans for colon cancer screening to 40 or 45 would be problematic within its implementation, even though the arguments are very strong in favor of doing it. So my conclusion based upon the entire debate and then the implementation difficulties is that we should stick right now at age 50 and do a better uh, job of doing screening of the eligible African Americans who are currently 50 years of age or greater who currently qualify for colon cancer screening. So I hope I've been able to summarize these issues uh, for you on the discussion. Um, it is um, not straightforward and somewhat nuanced, but hopefully um, based upon the last several minutes, we have a better idea of kind of what the salient features in the discussion are. Mm -hmm.